Hey guys, Big Key Express. Um, yeah, so I've got these things sorted now. And, uh, oh boy, I have a haul for you. So um, I'll go through part of it and then I'll probably make another video tomorrow. So um, let me pick this up here, see if I can do this without destroying the world. Um, we'll start over here with these mystery cars, Series 2, as you can see here. Um, thanks in part to Race Grooves and some other guys, you know, I've learned about the codes, I've learned about them last year, um, so I can pick up only the ones I want, like this one is the Fangula, it's one of those few fantasy cars I collect, um, let's see, this one's number 14, so that makes it the Cadillac LMP, Cadillac North Star LMP, number 24, Lotus Sport Elise, and number 19, which is the 63 T-Bird. Um, number 13, which is the Mitsubishi Double Shots. Concept car. And then number 15, another one of the fantasy cars I like, old number 3. Um, so I'm going to open these real quick. We'll confirm that they are packaged correctly. Stickers inside I usually give to my, my youngest son. Okay, yep, there's, there's the old number three. Very cool casting. I love it. Just that old vintage style. That race car. Back when racing was dangerous and sex was safe. Uh, let's see, this one is number 13, so it's the Mitsubishi Double Shots. And that is what we have. Cool flames on the side. Intimidator style number three with a Hot Wheels emblem. Very cool. And there's the 63 T-Bird. That is a gorgeous purple. Can't hate on that camel. Okay, so this one's number 24, so it should be the Lotus. Nice, deep metallic red. I was actually expecting it to be a bright red. Look at that, painted taillights, painted headlights, Lotus emblem on the hood. Nice. Nice one with that. You know, they, they cost about a dime more than the main line, but it seems like uh, they're willing to go a little more above and beyond on the paint, so. Uh, and we got the Cadillac LMP. Which compared to the rest is actually kind of plain, but I'm glad to add it to my LMP collection. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I am not complaining. And here we have the Fangu. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That is nice. That blue really pops. So those are the mystery cars. Let's see what else I picked up. Um, over here, a couple five packs. Um, I watched a Mushroom do the uh, review on this Hot Wheels uh, World Race five pack. And uh, decided to pick it up. And then, um, I don't remember who did the review on this military pack. But I liked enough of them. Um, I'm going to keep the International and the Humvee. The chopper, that deal, and the armored car, uh, those are going to go to my uh, my son. A couple of Lucy's. Um, been looking for this variation of this uh, Thunderbird. Had to rip, had to kind of rip it off of a, a, I don't know what they're called, rig haulers or whatever. It came with a semi truck. I gave the truck to my kid, um, and I took the Thunderbird. And this was my disappointment of the day. I don't have anybody to blame to myself. I hardly ever buy loose cars online. I took a chance for $15 on this blue wall or black wall metallic blue 56 high tail haul. He had pictures, but I didn't look at them close enough, or perhaps they were doctored. But for the price, I took a chance. It's got some nicks, some flea bites on it. Um, but it's my first 56 high tail hauler. 
Um, so for now, I'm going to use it as a filler. When I find a better one, uh, this one will go to my son. Um, let's look at a couple M2s. Got the Foo set, P32, Dodge Challenger RTs, uh, the 65 Mustang 2 plus 2s, and um, my wife got me the Challengers. I picked up these in California, the Mustang and the Foo set, and my wife also picked me up these 270 Mustangs. I got one uh, Mach 1 351 and a 428 Super Cobra Jet. I like those sets. Uh, my wife was hanging around Gordman's and found this uh, really cool uh, big rig. Um, the tractor uh, is labeled, I think it's like the MBX cab or something like that. But I was doing some looking around online and it looks just like a man, M-A-N, tractor. So uh, that's where it's going to go. My wife also found me these really cool moon eyes. Uh, this is an M2, right? Yep, M2. Um, there's all our mystery cars lined up there. Nice and pretty. I was at a flea market locally, and I found um, these two big rigs. Now, these are both Matchbox. They're both Ford Aeromat. I did take them out of the package. They were The packages were just, just trashed on them. The Ford... Uh, Aeromaxes, um, but notice there's quite a bit of difference in size. Pull back here. Um, and there's um, obvious difference in the trailers. They're two different kinds of trailer. Um, but we got the upper deck tractor here. This one's from 1998. And then this one was from 1994. It also has real riders on it. It was not listed as a premiere. Now, this one here I picked up off a new friend I met on um, one of the groups on Facebook. I honestly don't remember which one, and neither does he. It was either Hot Wheels Freaks or a Diecast Donkey, Sean Holden's group, um, one of the two. But I met up with him when I was out trucking in Wichita, and he made me a deal on some really hot 56 Ford panels that I'll show you later. And then this badass, HotWheelsCollectors.com, Highway 35. Um, Redline Real Rider 164th True Scale International Semi Truck Car Hook. Spectre Flame Cab. And this thing's gorgeous. So I'm very happy to get that. Then my wife found me. This is the Jada Just Trucks line. Peterbilt 387. Um, appears to be another climate controlled car hauler. Very nice. But she's got a good eye. She picks out some good stuff. 